49 and some changes once again to our weather. If I could keep and bottle up that weather from yesterday and repeat it today, I wish I could. Unfortunately, we are talking some rain changes. Cloud cover to start your mornings. Take a live look outside and the clouds are going to be with us throughout the day and for the next several days, along with these rain chances. That rain could be heavy at times, so we'll monitor for some potential street flooding. And then after the rain, some much colder air is on the way. Some of the coolest so far of the season. So satellite and radar this morning, you're seeing some heavy rain just off the coast of St. Bernard Parish, some rain near the Grand Isle area and a few scattered showers across southeast Louisiana this morning. This is the little disturbance that we're watching. A lot of moisture will continue to head our way, not only for today, but this cold front is going to slowly push toward the south and help to bring more rain chances over the next several days. Then behind that front, some much colder air is going to be set to invade our area going into next weekend. Stepping out the door right now, though, not too bad. 62 Bogalusa, 65 at Slidell, 69 at Bell Chase, 70 for you down toward Galliano, 67 in Gulfport. So your forecast as we go throughout the day, we'll see some off and on scattered showers through the early evening. Some heavier rain will start to build in by 5 o'clock. You see right over St. Bernard Parish. That potential for heavy rain will continue into the night into Wednesday and Thursday. So we're really not going to see a break from the rainfall potential until this front sweeps through. So first we're going to get the warm and humid air back in. That helps to keep the scattered showers for Wednesday and then going into your Halloween forecast. Thursday morning is when the front will be marching through, so that'll be our better rain chance. The good news is if you have some plans to go trick or treating in the afternoon to bring the kids out, it looks like the weather will improve and maybe a few scattered showers lingering. Winds will be picking up though, so if you have those outdoor inflatables, you want to make sure that those are tied down good because those will go flying down the street once this front passes through because those winds will really be picking up. Rainfall totals will vary. You see the areas in red. That's where we could see the heaviest rainfall. So again, this is over a three day spread, but we'll monitor that flooding potential. A look at your Halloween forecast again. Scattered showers still around noon by five o'clock. The rain chances taper off chilly and windy temperatures into the 50s, so you may need an extra layer on some of the kids costumes winds right now, though not too bad, but they I do expect them to pick up as we head into the afternoon 10 to 15 miles per hour off and on scattered showers today and the rain chances remain on your seven day forecast until Thursday. But look at your weekend forecast highs only into the 60s and some chilly mornings 30s and 40s through early next week.